Well, we've had to shit the bed this morning, guys. Wanted to get here nice and early before anyone arrives. So the kitchen sink connects into this floor waste drain. It looks like it's running nice and clear at the moment, but no, that's not the case, guys. She gets chocker block after about five minutes of running this tap. So we're gonna go find the grease trap. It took a lot of fluffing around to find this grease trap, I'll tell you that much. But guys, it's still early. This bloody grease trap's located behind all these apartment buildings. Why? Why? I mean, we're going to make so much noise and wake people up. But anyway, as you can see, the concrete here has been, looks like it's been cut. And there's a few restaurants that apparently connect into this drain. So we'll have to get the camera out and see what's going on. All right, so I've got the gutter lifters ready to pull the lids up. The lids are up and I've got to contain myself today guys, I mean as I say it's early and I don't want to wake people up, but look at that, I mean that's just a rotten grease trap if you haven't seen one before, look at it. Anyway that's the inlet to the grease trap and that's supposedly where the shop that I'm working at connects into. Alright so I've got the camera out and we're going to have a little bit of a sticky beak, we'll send the camera upstream and just make sure that we're able to jet without going up another restaurant's bloody drain because you can imagine that you know imagine standing in the restaurant i mean it's, we're early enough that people bloody aren't there yet but you know imagine imagine that you know all of a sudden this jet pops up out of your floor drain and squirts your backside mate all right the inlet to this grease trap already she's filthy mate so let's start jetting a little way up and then we'll send the camera up again and have another look all right, look, I'm a little hesitant to, to fire this jetter up just yet. I mean, it hasn't even gone six o'clock. But you know what they say, you know, the early bird gets the bloody worm. So maybe I should wake some of these people up so they can go get their bloody worm. Before we do fire the jetter up, I think we should probably take these inspection covers off just to make sure that we're jetting in the same line as we think we are, you know, because I can imagine... Oh, hello. Oh, look, bloody three cockies. Three's a crowd you should know, guys. Anyway, look, we'll have a look down here. Yeah, that does look like the grease trap line, but it's just, just better safe than sorry. As I'm saying, you know, you can imagine Joe Blow, apartment three, he's having a shower or he's having a number two. All of a sudden, he hears this gurgling and bubbling. Boom, you know, the jet has bloody smacked him on the backside. But anyway, look, now that looks like a different line. Yeah, that looks like a sewer line. It doesn't look like it's the grease trap line. So that's all good. So just there's one more inspection point just up here, but the reason I'm being 110% thorough with checking these inspection points is the owner's saying that he does know there's other people tapping into this grease trap. So what's going on down here? Man? That does look like the grease trap line as well. All good. So behind this door here, I think it's a bakery or a cafe. I mean, they're closed at the moment. But we're working in that direction in front of this whole apartment block. We've just spotted a couple of gullies over here on a quick sticky beak and uh, yeah, you can instantly tell, I mean you guys know as well from the videos, you know, if you're a subscriber, the gullies, if the kitchen connects up into them, they just get so bloody greasy mate and that's just too clean. Yeah, this is another one, bathrooms connecting into these ones. All right, final inspection before we start jetting and I'll uh, send her down this sewer line, we'll just clean the Clean the bloody camera lens up on the on the kid's bar towel, mate. And oh, if the missus is watching, I hope she's not. She'd bloody, she'd have my head, mate. But anyway, let's uh, let's continue on. We'll bin that towel and she may never know. So look at that. We're on the right track. All right, let's start jetting. All right, we're just going to start creeping ever so slowly up this inlet of the grease trap with a little flushing nozzle. We just want to go slowly to start with, guys. Well, if the poor buggers were sleeping upstairs, they certainly are not sleeping anymore. Nice little early wake up call.
<laughs> oh, it makes so much more noise when you're not supposed to make noise, if you know what I mean. But anyway, guys, look, I'm just going to send this upstream a little bit more just to see, like, once again, you know, there's three restaurants connecting into this 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 grease trap line. And I just want to make sure that we're going up the right line. But I've, I've just got that horrible sinking feeling. Oh, look, we've certainly cleaned it up a little bit, but I've got that horrible sinking feeling. There's this... Yeah, we're going to have to go downstream from the, the, the restaurant that we're working at. Bloody hell. So there's a lot of jump ups connecting into this drain and uh, unfortunately our restaurant seems to be one of them. And um, yeah, we're not going to be able to send it upstream. Let's just have another quick sticky beak, but oh mate, this could be a nightmare. Alright, so I'm going to try and get you give you a better view and try and explain it a bit more thoroughly. I'm not really good at explaining things, guys, you know. That's why my kids always look at me as if I'm a bloody idiot. So anyway, uh, we'll go upstream a little bit. and see, see right there, that's a jump up. So that could be our restaurant joining into this, this grease trap line. We'll go a bit further up and we'll have a look. See, the problem is I can't steer my Jetta, you know, around the place she just wants to go and there's another there's another junction another little jump up keep going there's another one and then up here what the bloody hell is this is enough you know yeah, we're all over the place guys what's going on in here i could be in in another restaurant's i think that could be another restaurant's floor waste gully right there so if i kept going straight straight up that drain i'm into another restaurant's floor waste gully because yeah, look at that. You can see the liquid. All right. We'll bring her back a little bit. And guys, in the comments, you know, do I do a terrible job at explaining jobs? Should I be more thorough? It's something I'll have to work on, but yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I can't steer the Jetta, so we're gonna have to go downstream to make sure we're, we're going the right way. Well, let's head back to the restaurant. We're back inside the restaurant and mate, it's bloody miles away from that grease trap. This is literally the only place we're going to be able to, you know, send the Jetta down. There's no other inspection points. There's no other gullies. It's just the one. We can't clear it from here. We're stuffed. Oh, yes, yes. I hear at the back. Bruce, Bruce, where's your confidence gone? And mate, I could unblock this drain with me bloody eyes closed. But on a serious note, guys, you know... Not that I'm having any doubts that we can't clear it. I just feel like this is such a long run that potentially we're going to have to pull the old K1500 out. So anyway, we'll start jetting now and hopefully we can quickly send this through before it starts backflowing on us. All right, we got to go, go, go. Got 5,000 PSI going down this drain now and I'm just, I just want to smash through it right to the grease trap just because, yeah, look, you can see it rising now. It's rising we're obviously filling the line up with, with water because we're going downstream and until we smash through that blockage, it's just gonna keep rising. So we gotta we gotta quickly go. Oh mate, this is not good. The jet is literally we're hitting massive lumps of grease, guys. I'm I'm concerned. Alright, I reckon we got another 10 seconds of water pressure in this drain before she starts overflowing. So give it one last quick blast and we might have to pull out the K1500. Well, shit. She's overflowed and the kid's bath towel is officially gone. All right, I feel like we're close to the end of this line, guys. So I'm just going to keep going. We're just going to... Oh, I don't want to make too much of a mess, though. Well, see what I mean? See what I mean? Look, we're making an awful sort of mess here, but it's, it's starting to drain down slowly. So if we can persist a little bit more... It could be messy, but we could get through it. Well, I'm just going to clean up a little bit before we continue on, but this is why you should really 
maintain your restaurant drain. It's a bit of a rhyme, isn't it? All right, we'll, we'll continue on. See if we can get through this blockage. I've got the K1500 out and I've got my flashy little microphone set up on at the moment. So hopefully you're going to be able to hear me through all this. But there's a cutting head we're going to send through. This should smash the grease. I mean, all the OG subscribers would have seen this before. But if you're new to the channel, watch and learn. As you can see, we're going to send as many cables as it takes to get through this blockage. But as you see from the resistance there, that's really hitting against grease you know big chunks of grease so we'll uh we'll eventually get through it but mate this this would have been 20 to 30 years of build up you know this is why you've got a restaurant or you know even just a, a kitchen at home you're just going to maintain those drains because the grease will eventually bloody just turn solid as a rock Hopefully I still got you guys. Hopefully you're not bored of this one yet. It's a marathon.
shit. All right, we got an issue. I don't know if my machine is blown up here. This would be an absolute disaster, but look, we got no power. I've been switching this on and off and it's just not doing anything. Shit. We're all good, guys. Water sigh of relief. The power just tripped out, so we're sweet. Guys, finally we are getting through it. The levels are dropping. You little ripper. Look at that, we got free flowing water. If you're still here, thank you for persisting with me. All right, so you hear that gurgling noise. That is a sign of a drain blockage. So what we've done with the K1500 is we've punched a hole through it. But we're gonna have to bloody get the jetter out now and just jet it clean, guys. The jetter will give it that 110% bloody finish that we're looking for. You know, the drain will be like new once we jet through it. So let's clean this up and jet. Well, as I said, guys, if you're still here with me unblocking this drain, I, I bloody shake your hand. And obviously, I'd, I bloody clean my hands before I shook your hand. But I appreciate you sticking with me. And make sure you say in the comments, Bruce, I, I'm still here with you. I'm here to the end, mate. And uh, look, guys, we're just going to continue. We're going to jet right through to the end of this line here just to make sure that this drain is so bloody squeaky clean that the owner's going to scratch his head and say, how did he do it? Now we're going to send this jetta down as quickly as possible all the way through to the grease trap now. And as I say, we've got 5,000 PSI pressure which will be cleaning up the side walls of this bloody, this drain. It'll be like new once we finish, but we've just got to get through there as quick as possible as not to cause another blockage because there'll be a hell of a lot of crap that we're taking off the pipe. Let's test this gully out now, guys, and let's see a free-flowing drain. Oh, look at that. Well, I, for one, bloody enjoyed that one. And I mean, it's a bloody day for it. The day is still young, and I'm going to go unblock another drain. <laughs> 